Hi, I'm going to quickly show you raised speed tables in Site 3D. Now we have this raised speed tables toolbar button here, which brings up uh, our little toolbar for adding and editing and deleting. So I'm going to use an add speed table function here and select the road I'm going to add it to. Now all I need to do is select where I want the speed table to start and where I want it to end. And then you can choose the ramp lengths, so they can be 2 meters or 1 meters. You can change all that to your heart's content. And the table height, and just click OK. And it's done, added for you. <coughs> now that is a uh, dynamic table, so if you move the road up or down or move it around horizontal, that will move with it. It also shows it on the centerline long section as well. So you get your annotation for your raised speed table with the raised platform levels that are set 75mm above the long section levels quoted. There are a couple more different table styles that we can do. Um, in this one here, which I'll bring this one over here, we can do um, tables that go to the end of the road and across junctions as well. So if I do this first, so uh, go to my speed table, do exactly the same thing as I did before, select this road this time and say from here. Obviously you could use the snaps if you wanted to, um, to get it more accurately positioned. But uh, for this one, I'm just gonna do it by eye. So from there to the end, I'm gonna set the end ramp length to zero. And that will then put it to the end. Click OK, and that's done that side of things. And I could do one on this road as well to uh, start it. I'm going to do it from here, just to sort of show you what you can do. I'm going to say the end round length is going to be zero on this one as well. Click OK, and there we go. So now we have this speed table that goes across a junction. Uh, we have one that goes right to the end of the road, and um, we also have one that goes around some widened channels. Brilliant. Thank you.